Hi, and welcome in this video where we're going to see the differences between denken, nadenken, and bedenken. What's the difference between denken and nadenken? Well, denken means to think. For example, ik denk dat het goed is. I think it's good. Or, ik denk het. I think so. By the way, many students say ik denk zo, but that is not I think so. Uh, ik denk zo, it means I think like this, not I agree. I think in this manner. So say ik denk het instead of ik denk zo to say I think so. Alright, so denken is to think and nadenken, some examples here. Ik ben aan het nadenken. Or, uh, ik denk de hele dag na. I'm thinking. Or, I'm thinking the whole day. So, nadenken means more to reflect. Denken, however, always needs some sort of an object. So, if you just want to say, I'm thinking. Just a moment, I'm thinking. Then, use nadenken. Right, it's a small difference, but the difference will be bigger with bedenken. Let's see an example with bedenken. We bedenken een oplossing. We think of a solution. So bedenken means to think of or to come up with. Alright, bedenken with a reflexive uh, or as a reflexive verb will change the meaning of bedenken. For example, hij bedenkt zich. What does it mean? He comes up with something? No, he changes his mind. So if you have a reflexive verb, and if reflexive verbs are something totally new to you, there's a video appearing up top here to uh, inform you about reflexive verbs. So if bedenken becomes a reflexive verb, then it means to change your mind. All right. If you're interested in learning more of these small words, I made a very nice book with a lot of little stories where you can find these kind of words. And you will find a link for it in the video or in the description below. Tot ziens.